Well, it is week five of high school football season and we are kicking off the weekend in style. We've got News 8 Sports Director Matt Rendazzo, Corey Cuffler and Camille Gear live at Browning Field for the score on the road. Yeah, David, an exciting week, week five of the high school football season. It feels more like football weather, some clouds, some wind, and unfortunately some rain, but we're focused on football. And we're joined now by the head coach of the Moline Maroons, Mike Morrissey. And before we talk about this rivalry, talk about this team, because I know you expect it to be a younger team and, and maybe have some, some bumps along the way. A one and three start, but but a lot of positives that you can take out of that one and three start, especially, I don't know nobody likes losing. Yeah. Just see last week going down to Quincy, playing really well. Yeah, I, we've definitely built, you know, on the things we've done well each week and I think the guys are starting to gel a little bit as a team and come together a little bit more uh, even off the field which I think was something that we were a little bit concerned about in the summertime just how close this group really was and uh, you know we're optimistic obviously coming in because I feel like we do have some guys that are talented and we have a good team and uh, you know we have a lot of confidence in the guys that we have it just took a little longer than we hoped to you know get them to, to really come together as a team so I think this group's taking strides forward and, and uh, we're very optimistic about the future sure. a couple of the guys offensively that have really stepped up Pablo Perez in the backfield yeah. yeah. and Xander Ely you knew he was going to be a, yeah. a good receiver two guys that are doing really well in the big six right now too yeah and I mean there were both guys that we brought up as sophomores that were contributing in, in some way shape or form but uh, Xander had a good junior year last year Pablo kind of split the mix and we had Riley and that that took a lot of the carries but uh, he stepped up he's done a great job he prepared himself you know accordingly physically uh, to be ready to kind of take the take the load and then uh, uh, Xander's just a competitor you know a super kid a 4.8 GPA kid and uh, just somebody that you can rely on uh, you know no matter what the circumstances are and I'm sure before a rivalry game the kids you don't really have to give them any motivation this week at practice no they're excited I mean the communities on both sides of this get pretty amped up for this and they and they right, rightfully so I mean it's 100 plus years of of this game being played so it means a lot it means a lot to a lot of people and uh, and will be forever you know that's the cool part about it um, you've had your fair share of success against the Rocks. Um, what is it about this rivalry? Is there a, did, did you crack a code or something? Or like, <laughs> is there something you want to share with the rest of the conference? Or no, obviously, I, and they're normally close games, but you guys yeah. have had some success in recent years. Yeah, we've just had a great group of kids that have come through, you know, really since, since I've been, oh, it helps tremendously. And it avoids bad coaching when you have good kids. It does, it does make <laughs> a lot of mistakes. There's no doubt about that. But, uh, I mean, they're competitors, you know, and, and they, I think they take a lot of pride in this game. And they know, you know, down the line, you know, 5, 10, 15 years from now when they're back, in, in, in our communities and, and those they kind of intermix that uh, the bragging rights means a lot you know and, and whether it's close or not close uh, you're gonna remember this game forever do you have to temper emotions at some point because you know they're gonna be running high and you wanted to play yeah. with those emotions but be smart when you're playing with those emotions. Yeah, I think that's a talk really with teenage boys uh, every week, no matter who you're playing and, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I think for the most part, our guys understand what the expectations are during these games, and they know, uh, you know, things, you, you ride the waves as best you can. You try not to get too high. You try not to get too low. And uh, you try to be ready to compete and do, uh, you know, do the best you can on the very next play, no matter what happened on the previous one halfway through the regular season officially tonight. I mean, what do you yeah. want to see out of your guys to just keep progressing? Yeah, we just have to keep taking strides forward on both sides of the ball. I mean, and it really comes down to fundamentals. You know, football is, is blocking and tackling. Really, no matter what system you run, uh, that's the big thing. And so I, I feel like we did we, we did much better last week, uh, even than the week before, and I thought we made strides from the week before. So uh, these guys are eager about every opportunity they get to come out here and compete, and that's that's really what we're most excited about. You know, Coach was a regular on the score the last couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Because he'd come up, and we're real we close. I don't right get invited much anymore. Um, so. is, is that motivating factor for you? Maybe a victory gets you on the score, back get to the to grill, get your brat, all that kind of Look, stuff. Look, there's no secret <laughs> that I've been I've been anxious for that invite to come back. Yeah. I think that's just one of those things. I don't I don't I don't hide it. I enjoy my time on Friday nights down the street. Yeah. So uh, I, I think if, if if things go well tonight, it'd be great to to take a trip down the street and see you guys again. Yeah. Is is tonight's game possibly a turning point in the season for you guys with 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 what's ahead, knowing that. A couple more wins and you can, you can be playoff eligible. Yeah, big time. You know, our, our front, the front part of our schedule is pretty heavy loaded with some very good teams. And not that not that these teams won't be competitive here going forward. I mean, they, they will be for sure. Uh, but I think from a mental standpoint, you know, to kind of get back on track, uh, it changes things. All the hard work and all the time and effort you put into things, you know, when you can get a win or, or at least compete and play well, uh, mentally it makes a difference. Atmosphere wise, I mean, this has got to be one that's circled on the calendar. Yeah, every year it's exciting. You know, it, it's cool. Like, you go back and you see all these YouTube videos back in like the 90s, late 90s, you know, mid 90s when, when those the rivalry was just, I mean, at its peak maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, and you see four or five people deep on the gates. I mean, that's that's what you want high school football to be about. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's really what Friday Night Lights is, is you know, for, for the kids. And, and I think they love it and they embrace it and it makes it special. Now, before we let you go, we're, we're all wearing red, but it's simply because it's our station color. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I wanted that's... to explain that. 
because like I feel, I feel like Todd's giving us a dirty look over there. He's shaking his head. Yeah, and rightfully so. We've had this talk for many years. Like you guys are based in Moline. I thought like maroon would be a much better color. Plus everybody looks good in maroon. No, I've never met anybody that doesn't look good in maroon. We, ever. we are unbiased media members except for Corey. He looks good. Yes. That's okay. Well, that's why he's my favorite. I, 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 you know, that's the way it goes. That's what my wife says about it. <laughs> <laughs> no like that, so, anyways, he's Mike Morrissey. We appreciate you guys. Yes, thank you. Good luck. Hey, maybe we'll yeah. see you tonight for a I burger. I hope so. I hope so. We'll I'd see. love it. We'll see. You I'd do your it. job, we'll do our job. Yes, sir. So, I right. like that. Hey, we've got more <laughs> coming up here from Running Field. More on Rocky Moline this week, this year. And, of course, week five of the high school football season and the score. David, we'll throw it back to you. All right. Thanks, Ed.